Hey everybody, I'm just going to show you a quick video. Uh, basically this is to make your own clothing labels. And what we need is, we need this material. So any material that you want your finished um, logo or design to be on. And I'm going to be using felt, just white felt. And you need to get yourself some freezer paper, this stuff. And obviously this is quite easy to get in, in America, um, just in the normal food aisles where you have your baking paper and foil and, and such like. In the UK, you cannot get this in the supermarket. Um, don't confuse it with uh, greaseproof paper because that doesn't work because it needs to be plastic coated. I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, this I actually ordered um, from Amazon. and Get it on Amazon. I think you can get it from Hobbycraft as well. Um, but it's quite easy to find online and it's uh, not too expensive. I think this cost about four quid, so it's not too bad. Um, so what we want to do is you want to cut out a piece of your freezer paper. And this is just a normal piece of A4 paper. And you get your freezer paper and you want to make sure that the uh, plastic side, so the shiny side, is facing upwards. So this side we're going to glue onto our paper. So what we're going to do is just going to get some simple PVA glue. I'm going to use this stuff. Ooh, tacky glue. It's PVA glue. And I'm going to put a tiny amount onto around the edge of the freezer paper on the non-shiny side. So the non-plasticky side. The matte side. So I'm just going to put a very thin coat. You don't want to put too much glue. You want to make sure it gets up to the edge. You can obviously use a Pritt stick as well. Um, I haven't got one in, so I'm, I've been using just PVA glue. Seems to work fine. Let's do it around the edge, like so. And then you want to stick it. Let me show you. You want to stick it onto your A4 piece of paper, like so. So you should have the plasticky shiny side on top. Okay. So when that's stuck down, you want to get yourself an iron. So we're going to switch our iron on. And just wait for that to warm up. And then we'll come back. I'll show you the next stage. Okay, so when that's uh, when your iron is hot enough. Then you're going to take your material and you're just going to place that on top of the plastic freezer paper. And you want to turn it upside down because you don't want to iron the actual uh, material and stuff. So you want to turn it upside down, making sure your material's flat. There we go. And then just iron on top. And what this does, it makes the plastic on the freezer paper stick to the material, or rather the material stick to the freezer paper, allowing us to put it for a printer. Okay, so we'll just apply some heat and as you can see, the material is now stuck. And it's not stuck permanently, it does just come off again, just peels off like so. And uh, yeah. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is open up Word on your computer and you want to bring in the logo that you've created, um, however you've created it, and bring it into Word. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to measure, we're going to measure the distance from the edges. We want our logos to come in about onto the material, so about seven centimetres in, and then down from the top, I'll explain why it's at the bottom in a minute. Seven. I want to start our logos at about there, 17. So about 7 and 17. So we go into our margins in Word, do custom margin. And from the top we wanted 17, and the left we wanted 7. And like so, and as you can see, that's created our margins. And all we've got to do is put this in the printer. Okay, so I've actually got a printer that isn't a top loader, would you call it? A top loader? I've actually got one that goes in and around, which does make life more complicated. You need an inkjet printer, and uh, what we're actually going to be doing, if you could kindly, kindly put that there we go, and we're going to take our 
work here and making sure that the material is at the bottom I'm going to turn it upside down because for this printer, particular printer, we need to make sure that the side we want to print on is facing down I'm making sure our material is at the bottom and the reason for that is when it goes round and catches, it's just catching normal paper and then hopefully it'll just pull through the material and print the material without it getting all caught in the back like my first few attempts did <laughs> Okay, so what I've got to do now is press print. Okay, so put that in the printer. Printing it through. Oops. Which means that two pieces of paper for reasons I don't know. And there we go. There's my logo printed on some felt. Okay, so the last thing to do is I've come back to my ironing board and I've just got a little bit of uh, linen here, you can use a tea towel or, or whatever, and I'm just going to put that over the top and bring the oven, uh, oven, bring the oven, <laughs> bring the iron back in, and I'm just going to iron over the top just to make sure that ink's completely dried and set. So, there we go, and once that is done, we have our finished fabric labels. Brilliant! <laughs>